Lin is an authentic Taiwanese restaurant by Carlo Lorenzana and Partners, first opened in December 2011 and named after the Xilin Night Market in Taipei. Today, we visit their branch at the Power Plant Mall in Rockwell. Hi everybody, welcome back to our channel. So for lunch here at Rockwell, we're at one of our favorites, Shi Lin, which is a Taiwanese comfort food restaurant. And it's been quite some time since we've been back. Alexandra, you're out in Rockwell. It's been like a good almost two years. What did you miss here at Shi Lin? I missed the deep fried mantu and the steam mantu. Oh yes, Alexandra loves those. How about I you, babe? The so we ordered 10 pieces of the Shalom Bao. Unfortunately, they didn't have their uh, Taiwanese spinach or the broccoli. So we ordered stir-fried bok choy for our vegetable dish. We have um, spicy jellyfish, which we sometimes order, which is quite good as well. Uh, but aside from the Shalom Bao, from the dumpling side, we also love their uh, shrimp wontons in spicy sauce. Those are just fantastic. And then aside from that, we ordered a congee with a century egg, as well as uh, shrimp fried rice and a chicken chop for Alexandra. And then later on, we're gonna order those mantau. And for dessert, it's gonna be their almond jelly with lychee. So this should be quite a treat and something we've been craving for the past few months, if not year. Shilin specializes in Xiaolongbao soupy dumplings and Taiwanese beef noodle soup. We have been here over countless visits since they first opened, and we would highly recommend the original Xiaolongbao, truffle and pork Xiaolongbao, crab fat and pork Xiaolongbao, spicy shrimp and pork wonton, vegetable and pork dumplings, braised beef noodle soup, jellyfish, shrimp fried rice, stir fried spinach, stir-fried bok choy, stir-fried broccoli, fried rice and pork chop, shrimp and pork wonton noodle soup, hot and sour soup, double-boiled chicken soup, beef stir-fry with scallions, mapo tofu, congee with century egg and pork, fried manto buns, and for dessert, their almond jelly with lychee and salted egg custard bun. The dumplings are made to order, and with the open kitchen setup, you can watch the trained chefs as they put together your order. moment we've been waiting for. Thank you. Thank you. Shaolong Bao in the house. Well, this is the you classic soupy pork dumpling. What do you want to put? Okay, I'm gonna have my first Shaolong Bao. A little bit of black vinegar. Okay, I'm gonna have my first shallow bao, a bit of black vinegar and ginger. Now that is one of my favorite dumplings in the world. And what I like about Chilin, that it's consistently made that there's always soup inside, it's not dried out. And it's so flavorful. That broth that, that they have in there is absolutely delicious and crave worthy. Oh. Of course, you gotta make sure you order 10 pieces so you get economies of scale. What do you think, Alexandra? Ooh. That was some and the slurping goodness right there. I think we might need to order another 10 pieces. <laughs> what can you say, my love? I'm enjoying having 
amazing. But you make sure that you dip it well in the sauce and have some ginger on top. Up next, their hot and sour soup. This is classic, not so spicy, and lots of mushrooms and pork and black fungus and assorted vegetables. It's not so thick, and most importantly, not sweet at all. This is a savory soup. That really hits a spot. This is perfect after hangover. Mm. One more for that. Wow. Another one of my all-time favorites here is their shrimp and pork wontons. But be careful, this is highly addictive. Their wrapper on this is so delicate. And look at how much garlic they put. This, I would say, is medium-level spicy. Mm. That's something you want to take in all in one bite. The shrimp is so fresh, has a nice crunch to it. Plus, of course, that delicateness of the wrapper, and it's just so filled with shrimp. Little bits of pork. Oh, and that chili. That chili really goes a long way. I'm about to breathe flames right now, but with all that garlic, it's like perfect balance, perfectly balanced dish. Up next, I have the chicken chop, steamed bok choy with garlic sauce, and the shrimp fried rice. So their chicken chop, it's decent size. The batter is quite light. I've already tried it before, quite airy. Mm. And I really love their shrimp fried rice in there. Plump baby shrimps. Oh. Amazing shrimp fried rice. Let's try their bok choy. Normally we get the Taiwanese spinach and the broccoli, but they didn't have that today, so. Mm. That is perfectly cooked. Bok choy. So green and so crunchy. Well, wow, that is awesome. Look at that sauce. And time to go down the hatch. Okay, up next I'm having the pork century egg congee. And I added the leftover chili from the shrimp wonton and a little bit of soy sauce and the black vinegar. That's the, that's the way I like my congee here at Shilin. It's served um, quite warm. And I love the texture of their, their congee, the rice. It's very velvety and smooth. I think the weakest part of their congee is their congee chips. but uh, the pork is lean, no fat, and quite a decent amount of uh, century egg for, their, for the price. Look at that. Mm. Wow. I am super enjoying our meal here at Shilin. And up next, we still have mantau buns and dessert.
For dessert, I ordered one of the most popular Chinese desserts in the Philippines. It's almond jelly with lychee. So this is made uh, with milk and gelatin powder. And what, what makes Xi Lin's so special is that their almond jelly is so fluffy. Mm. Just like a cloud. And there's such a powerful almond essence, which is balanced by the sweetness of this lychee. Mm. That is heavenly. You always have to make room for dessert here at Chile. I think the question is either you mango sago person or almond jelly lychee person. I think I am almond jelly lychee person since my day one, right? first try. So that's me. And I'm enjoying it here. It's a very, very good quality, like in proper restaurant. Very silky texture of the almond jelly, but lychee could be a little bit better because it's just a half <laughs> size. I wish that it could be full. That's right. Chinese fine dining, you'll get two whole lychees. Here you get one lychee split in half. So I'm enjoying it. I even got coffee. So I'm trying the fried mantau buns. It's like really hot. Yeah. Hold it. And that's the sauce, condensed milk. You gotta dip it in the sauce to cool it off. Okay. <laughs> what can you say, Alexandra? Perfect, Alexander. Well, guys, I have to say that was a highly satisfying meal in terms of flavors, quality, and textures, as well as service. Uh, I really enjoyed everything we ordered. I have zero uh, negative things to say, and uh, I'm just so impressed that the quality of the food has been consistent throughout the years, and I would highly recommend this restaurant if you haven't tried it yet. How about you, babe? I had zero dislikes for this food, for this restaurant. I enjoyed thoroughly everything. And the part of the quality was the same level, like always, very consistent. And I'm happy for us that we wasn't so excited that we didn't over-order too many things. We, what we ordered, we finished, we're happy and satisfied. Yes. Alexandra, how about you? What can you say about your meal today? I'd say... <coughs> I'd say it's good. I'd say it's like, um, how do you say it? What? Like it was really tasty, yummy, was a wrap, it was consistent. Did it blow your mind? Yeah. Which dish did you enjoy the most? The mantel. Still the mantel, not the shalombao? No, she said it before, but I think she has higher appreci mm -hmm. appreciation for it now. Today. Well, thanks so much, guys, for joining us uh, and watching our video. Please stay safe, and we'll see you in the next episode.